up, guys? Welcome to The Huddle. I'm Britt Johnson. We have a special guest today, Robert Littell. What's up? Oh, How you doing? Thank you guys having me back. That yes. means you're really course, desperate. Man. Really desperate. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I'm just trying to get Matt further away. As you guys see, no, Matt DeMecki is here. Though. Not, he's in, <laughs> what's up? What's he's up, moving guys? past soon no, I'm, I'm off the stage. No, I'm right here still. I'm not, I'm just alternating well, let, between here and there. Let's see how much we like Robert today, because I have a very a important Fellas question. <laughs> I have an important question for you guys today. Um, who is the GOAT of the NBA? Now, I know oh. Robert is kind of smart when it comes to college yeah. football, <laughs> because he is also a Buckeye, uh, or he the, believes, he the believes. Ohio State. Yes, That's the it. Ohio oh, yeah. State, yes. <laughs> um, so I think you have, you know, good, Bray, you're smart. You're smart. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Possibly. Tell We're us first. Find out. Who is your goat? Well, let me explain something. I think oh, the gosh. goat. The goat situation is like this. You know, it's like the OJ trial. Let me explain what I'm trying to say here. Everybody uh, considers. You're making me nervous now. No, no, it's all good. Everybody, everybody <laughs> considers think, Michael Jordan the goat, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Just you know, kind of like everybody you know thinks OJ did it. But LeBron James, <laughs> there's enough circumstantial Love evidence. The yeah. There's enough c circumstantial evidence. If you have a Johnny Cochran and you have the right jury, you can make a case that LeBron James is the GOAT. Oh. And I'm that so Johnny OJ Cochran. OJ is LeBron. Man. No, OJ hey. is LeBron. Okay. Like you said, okay. he got great um, knowledge. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Maybe you I, don't have the knowledge that I thought. <laughs> absolutely he does. Absolutely he does. He has um, every case in point to be the greatest okay. player of all time, and you already know that, Britt. No, I don't. Explain to me why LeBron James should be the GOAT. Okay, LeBron, I think he's the most consistent player of all time. Like you said, he's been to seven straight NBA Finals. He took a really, really, really garbage team to the NBA Finals Bye -bye. in 07. I mean, when it's all said and done, LeBron's going to lead in points, rebounds, steals. Probably every category you can think of, he's probably going to lead every category at the end of, end of his career. So I think he's the most consistent. I think talent-wise, he's the greatest. Durability-wise, I mean, this man never gets How hurt. How are you going to call somebody consistent when they don't consistently win? Oh, my It God. doesn't matter if you've been I mean, somewhere seven times. Robert, like, you don't win all the time. Michael Jordan, six NBA finals. Michael Jordan, six NBA rings. Michael Jordan, six NBA MVPs. That sounds like consistency to me. Michael Jordan never took Booby Gibson, though, to the That's NBA what I'm Finals. Saying. Michael Jordan. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Michael Jordan also never left teams to go be play with the best. He just made the best I, because, of his teams. No, because the best be the was best, already there. He did not want to go to teams and be like, hmm, I guess I can't win with this team, so I'm going to go over here. Like, he didn't have to do that. He People wanted to come to Michael Jordan. People played with Michael Jordan. He played with whoever he had on his team and made it work. And obviously he's more successful than LeBron James. But also think about all of the players. Once LeBron moves, wherever LeBron goes, they all they come, come to him. him. They, they all come, come to him. him. Why did he move in the first place then? Because they weren't to him. Well, you can't win with Booby Gibson. I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, we're Keisha Cole. We're ask Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole couldn't win with Booby Gibson Oh either. gosh, here we go. <laughs> Consistently when they're not getting you free agents, that's why he left Cleveland mm -hmm. the first time. He's getting right there in the conference finals, but they can't win with a garbage team. They had Big Z, Booby Gibson, Drew Gooden was the second best player on that 2007 team. How could you possibly win and the front office never gets him any help? He had to leave. The, He's like, I'm done, I'm not gonna do this. Also, the fact that he did come back and bring and the champ. Champ. Think about it. Nothing happens good in Cleveland. Like, there's nothing After going on. After Kyrie got there, <laughs> so then he went back to go play with Kyrie. Kyrie who, thinks the earth is flat, so that's exactly. just. That is not <laughs> <what I> know. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Last time, you. what did you call him? Flat, flat, flat earth or Kyrie. Earth. Yeah. And I also want to say about Michael Jordan, because I do believe, obviously, he is the GOAT. Michael Jordan, everyone sits on Michael Jordan's shoulders. Everyone you see now that plays now, everybody has a little bit of Michael Jordan in them. Whether you wore his shoes, whether you took his marketing strategies, everything that every player that is great now has came from a piece of Michael Jordan. I'm and, just, I'm and, just and, saying. And 10 and 20 years from now, you know what they're gonna say? Every player, young 10, 15 year old kid right now is taking something from LeBron and, James. And, and, and let me say this too. The blueprint doesn't mean you're always the greatest. You're just the one that set everybody else up to be the greatest. You know what I mean? And I feel like LeBron took full advantage of that and he surpassed Michael and he's he definitely gonna surpass him. He has surpassed Michael Jordan. He Absolutely has not. He has. And if you wanna think about like, 
the time that Michael Jordan actually played, you know, including his breaks and stuff, he's already played as long as LeBron James has, and LeBron James has not gotten what Michael Jordan got at that time. And Michael Jordan literally made basketball like what it is today. Like, from the fans, from everything, like, basketball, I think, in a few years is going to end up taking over the NFL. Like, yes, I did say that. It's not a mistake. <laughs> I do believe that, you know, basketball is taking over, and I think Michael Jordan's the one that kind of started that. Like, and I don't think LeBron James is as worldly known as Michael Jordan is. Well, I think if you're talking about oh. GOAT status as far as impact, you, you, you definitely Michael Jordan. I don't think there's a question about that. If you're just Overall strictly picks, talking yeah. about on the court. I don't think you ever just talk about skills. I think so. No, I, think so. I don't think it's two separate conversations. It's the GOAT, the greatest of all time. They have to have every component there and I think Michael Jordan embodies everything that it means to be the greatest mm. of all time like I, that's like saying like oh I mean yeah Celine Dion sings better than everybody else but is she Michael Jackson is she Prince no she's not like those are the goats not Celine Dion just because she has a better voice yeah her skill set might be better but they're not performers they're not they oh, didn't man. change the game oh, like well, Michael Jordan well, did if you can't sing I don't think you can be the goat so that thing is, you have to be yeah, able to play. Yeah, but Michael Jordan can sing. Right, he but, can play. But, but I'm saying is, I think if we're talking about the GOAT, all the other stuff, you know, how many IG models you have, how many shoes you got, yeah. all of that is, that's nice. Uh, I mean, Shout John, out to LeBron uh, James' James. new sidekick. <laughs> I mean, Johnny Manziel is known more than somebody else. The Kardashians are known more than other people. LiAngelo Ball <laughs> and LaMelo and Lonzo are more known. I'm talking about strictly on the court, Right now, I need a player of all time. Who do I want playing for me that can make everybody better? Michael even, Jordan! Even Booby Gibson. And just, and just, I'm taking LeBron Michael, James. And Michael. just to remember, if you want to talk about overall impact, I remember Michael Jordan was a drunk. That flu game was a hungover game. I'm just going to say about <laughs> that. And that's fine. And, 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 now, I, now a lot of the players get to turn up at the clubs and party thanks to Michael But if Jordan. LeBron did that, he would be crucified. We all know that. He does do that. LeBron. Michael Jordan made it more popular to party. LeBron. No, Allen obviously made it more <laughs> popular to party. <laughs> All right, saying, well, no. um, Robert, you know, you man, and, man. maybe you and Matt can just have your own show together, a little broad That's sexual about, show. Um, I will be here on the huddle if you guys ever want to, you know, come back to your senses. But um, let us know who you guys think is the GOAT in the comments below. Like, subscribe, shop the Fumble Store before you go, and we'll see you guys soon.